Well, David, I thought maybe we'd take a look at some of the materials that are in the different parts of a Wilson speaker and how they compare to the other materials that other manufacturers use and maybe deal with that. So we get uh, we get asked oftentimes, you know, what do you use in your speakers? And uh, remember, there are three things that we look for. One is we want it incredibly stiff. We want it monotonic, meaning that if you do excite it, it stays at one frequency. And the third thing is high internal dampening. Uh, if you choose something that is soft, then you you don't get the leading edge transient the way that you should. Um, the cabinet can flex and it can react in a room. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, MDF. This is a, a face to an old Watt puppy. And I'm going to um, just strike it just to let you hear what this would sound like. Now, this has two of three two of the three characteristics. characteristics. Uh, so monotonic and very good uh, internal dampening, but it isn't stiff. So here we go. Who's that? So that is, that is MDF. Okay. Um, I'm then gonna use um, X material. So this is a phenolic resin. Uh, is a high uh, uh, structural strength. It's very rigid. Um, it has. Is that a typical thickness for the sidewall of one of your speakers, or is that kind of thin? This would be. Well, this is an older speaker. This would have been one of the uh, Watt Puppy you know, from many, many years ago. Okay. So a, an older sample, but um, you'll actually see that we use varying thicknesses in our speakers. Okay. So strike it again. So you'll notice that it is. You know. I strike it, you get an uh, impulse, and then it quickly dies, but it stays at one frequency. We also use S material, which is a different characteristic. You'll notice it's a different color. I'll strike this. Sounds lower. Different, yeah, just a different resonant like characteristic. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, and then We'll use something like this, which is kind of one of the materials du jour that people think is, you know, high strength, um, but it doesn't have two of the other characteristics. One is it's not so monotonic. This is not from a Wilson speaker. This is not from a Wilson speaker. Okay. Yeah. So this is an aircraft grade aluminum. So, but to many people, this is a very premium material to use. I'll show you the reason why we would never choose this. Still going. Yeah. About 21 seconds worth of ringing. Now, you would never strike it with something like this, but it just shows you that we are looking for something different than this. And uh, you can coat that with rubber or, you know, I mean, I guess that there's ways to do it, but it's making it more complicated than maybe it needs to be if you get the material science right yeah. with the choice of material. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks, David.